Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Mark Faust and I've uh, just sort of really begun uh, my YouTube journey here. So uh, I hope you will actually join me and uh, bear with me while I'm actually getting this and filing on it and uh, getting my YouTubes correct over the time. Now, uh, I am a photographer and I would like, uh, obviously this channel is going to be photography centric and I would like to talk about my gear first up and just sort of like just giving you an idea of what I've, uh, uh, what I've learned over time and uh, maybe this might uh, actually help you on your journey. Now, uh, just to begin off and, and start off, I would like to talk with you about uh, one of my newest purchases and what I think about it and uh, this is obviously not sponsored by anyone or I've, I've, and also the gear has been actually purchased by me so just bear that in mind uh, so it's going to be a very honest uh, a review about bits and pieces. Uh, I recently purchased uh, um, the Sony 200-600G FE mount lens and um, so far I'm liking it actually, but I'm, the, the review is obviously not about this. As you can see, there is actually a lens cover on this. Uh, the lens cover uh, was probably the first thing that I was actually thinking about purchasing as soon as I got this. Um, I did a bit of uh, research and found out bits and pieces. Being based in Australia, it's almost like it's impossible to actually purchase uh, these uh, lens covers uh, um, here in Australia by Australian uh, as an Australian made product uh, so I decided to uh, purchase one from overseas this was actually uh, from a UK company um, they're called uh, I don't know uh, what are they called outdoor photography gear uh, .co .uk, so you can look them up if you like I mean this is this is one of I think three manufacturers that have actually got a name behind it uh, there are some no-name brands etc that you can actually look up on on all sorts of like Adorama and and and, and uh, Amazon etc so you, it look I mean I can only talk about gear that I've purchased and gear that I actually own and what I think about this particular one now this particular one has actually been really well made from what I can see it's been hand stitched uh, there's actually hand stitching on each end to stop fraying etc um, the uh, the cutouts uh, for for each uh, point of interest is actually done pretty well uh, so you actually got uh, the actual uh, um, the 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 strap hooks uh, are cut out the uh, the tripod mount uh, adjustment knob is actually cut out plus also the actual mount itself has actually got uh, like a cut out and it's actually sewn up and it's actually got a, like a band around it uh, like a like a material band uh, that stretches over the foot so you can actually fit it easily uh, the neoprene on this is actually very fairly thin and I, I like that actually it's it's not too thin and it's not too thick uh, the reason being is because you actually got uh, um, so for starters you actually got a, like a non-slip rubber underneath so it actually won't slide around on the actual lens when you when you're focusing and uh, zooming and also you have got the option of actually rotating the actual lens hood and actually getting it on the this way around and I'll just cover my eyes so the actual sharpness goes on the actual lens so you can actually see it there and it's a it's also a very nice color now the colors are like I think that it comes from anything like you can get black neoprene all the way to like a snow white neoprene and and uh, if, if you go on their websites you will actually see what is available for which lens etc uh, uh, so that that's not a big deal you you'll definitely find something uh, that will actually suit you color wise um, the other bit and bit is uh, you will <laughs> you, you would have realized by now that I've actually taken the the end bit off that actually is cut for the uh, uh, for the switch uh, section <clears throat> now this goes on fairly fast as you can see there you go it's, it's a it's a snug fit but it goes on very fast and it's not a problem uh, the biggest problem that I have actually found with this is that you can't actually 
really control the switches really well. You can actually see the switches really well, but you can't control them really well. You can pull, pull this back and then actually control your switches. And also having this on is probably good because it actually protects the, 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 the switches being hit by accident, maybe. That's the only answer I could, would have for it. Uh, the other problem with having this on is also that you can't actually see the actual white dot for mounting the lens onto the camera. So sometimes you are just basically in a hurry and you just don't remember exactly where it is. Uh, and uh, you will find that that is also a problem. So you just got to pull it back and going, oh, where is it? And yeah, so you don't want to, you don't want to have to struggle with something like that to actually fit it onto the, onto the camera body. Um, now, as you've seen, I have left it off and I'm going to leave it off for probably most of the time of when I'm actually using this. Uh, and, and I don't think that this little bit of white is actually going to really interfere with the actual camouflage or will it actually be banged up by any re for any reason. I don't, I don't think this is sort of like the section that actually really gets any, any harm done to it, shall we say. Uh, now the other the other thing that I would like to point out also is uh, that there is no uh, actual um, there is no actual uh, button uh, cut out for the actual uh, um, custom button uh, on the sides for the custom buttons so that's actually sort of like a feel where it is I found it straight away there it is uh, but I don't actually use the custom button so that is you know, a user's choice, and uh, uh, if, if you absolutely want to do the cutout, you can actually do that yourself if you want to. Maybe the manufacturer should maybe just do the cutout. Uh, they've actually done that on the actual button here, on the actual screw button. So it, it should not be too much of a problem. I mean, a, a hole punch would probably do it if you, if you want to do it yourself. Um, now, the other thing is also that you can probably hear... If I shut up for a minute, you can probably hear the uh, the material, the neoprene, is actually gliding along the next part of the neoprene uh, section, and it's actually I, I like the sound of that. You know, like it's it's really nice. Uh, I mean, I, w I wouldn't use that for like if you if you're handling this camera for video work and you want to zoom in and out. I mean, that noise will actually transfer into the audio, obviously, <clears throat> but. Uh, yeah, so that that is a bit 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 of just it's not even, I wouldn't even call that resistance really. I mean, for for the for the kind of work that you'll be using this for, you you wouldn't you wouldn't be complaining about it. It's actually nice and nice and nifty. And I think all the neoprene ones are actually a bit like that. Uh, now, if that disturbs you, you can actually just peel that section off because it's black. Remember, you you actually got the black rubber. You know, so it's it's not really messing around with 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 uh, 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 like the camouflage. I mean, you really want to camouflage the white section rather than the actual uh, the black portion of this lens. Uh, the other modification I've done to this lens, just quickly, and I, I, I want you know that's that's the cover done. Uh, this this foot, this the Swiss Arca mount or the Arca Swiss mount, sorry is basically non-existent on the actual Sony foot. Uh, it could have been milled in. They decided not to not to do that for I don't know what reason. Um, now, the, the plate that I screwed on, I made sure that there's actually two screws that actually go onto the plate. So it actually stops it from actually um, turning. Uh, this is a very heavy lens and it, it, it will be, if you, if you if you don't, even if you tighten it up as much as you want with one bolt, it will actually still spin. So uh, I would re highly recommend you actually use two bolts if you can. Um, that being said, uh, I'll just leave you know the, these little flaps, these little red things are, are um, uh, peak design uh, mounting for the, for the actual strap, uh, for, for, uh, for mounting and clipping on and off. If no one actually knows about these, but it, it, that's, that's an extra part that you can actually buy. So overall, um, yeah, I'll give this a thumbs up, okay? This lens cover gets a thumbs up from me. Um, it's really well designed. I like the, this actual particular color. is really nice. And uh, yeah, look, I mean, if you've got a lens like this, I would highly recommend you actually get something like this for, for, for 
extra protection. It's great to grip in winter. Uh, so the lens, yeah, the, the, the cold transfer from the lens to your hand is not that effective. And also in summer, you know, I mean, if you if you got this in in uh, broad in, in bright sun and it heats up, I mean, you, you will you will pack a fair bit of heat into this lens then you don't want it you want to prevent that so this actual cover will actually prevent that okay so um, that being said you know like uh, <laughs> see you next time just remember to actually give me your thumbs up subscribe uh, look me up on my facebook by the way uh, i'm at uh, photographers collective and i do give workshops as well so uh, yeah look me up uh, if you can okay until next time and uh, may your shooting be good shooting okay see you later